everybody. This is Jason from RealtorVision.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the beautiful Craigslist ads that you can make with the Fusion system. Before you go and start trying to get your uh, Craigslist ad set up, what you want to do is you want to first make sure that your flyer looks really nice. And so I went into Mike's, Mike Thompson's account here. Mike's very good at making gorgeous looking flyers as you can see. And this is a layout that's got a lot of pictures and some good text on it, agent information, website, email, QR code, tiny turtles link to the tour. So once you've got your, your flyer picked out, what you want to do is you want to also go ahead and add some amenities. And the reason I would tell you to do this is because the Craigslist flyer ha is long. It's a, it's a web page, so it's, it scrolls down. And so it's got a little bit more rooms for some different stuff on it, like amenities, exterior amenities, appliances, all that good stuff. Select your amenities, then go ahead, and once you've got that selected, go ahead and click the post to Craigslist. This is where it gets a little bit tricky for some people, but the first time you do it, it'll be, it, 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 it'll be very easy after you just do it once. Now, for those of you that have used the beta system, your Craigslist widget, if you use the beta system, your Craig's widget will not work. It would be up here in your browser or in your favorites and you'll want to delete it. If this is your first time using the Craig's widget, what you're going to want to do is put your mouse over this and either right click on it and click bookmark or simply put your mouse on it, left click and drag it up into your browser. Now I use Firefox. You can, use, you can do this move in Firefox. You can do this move in Chrome. I think you can even do it in IE, but I'm not positive because I never use IE. So, but the key is you want to get it in your bookmarks. So right click, bookmark it, or drag it up into your toolbar like I have here, and you're good to go. After you've got that step done, all you need to do from then on when you come to this page is simply copy your, your flyer ID, which happens to be the same number as the tour. So it's real easy. You copy that. It's copied to your clipboard. Now you're going to go over to Craigslist. So once you're in Craigslist and you get to your page where you're supposed to post, simply click on your Craigs widget. It's going to pop up over here. Paste your flyer ID in. Click Fetch. And all your information gets populated. So you've got your title. Boom. You should just be able to drag, drag that over. Maybe not. Maybe not in Firefox, I guess. Copy that paste it. You used to be able to drag and copy. Copy that, paste it. Copy that, square feet, paste it. Specific location, copy that, paste it. I'm going to put Michigan on there. Uh, the price should be on here, I thought. Looks like there is no price on this one. Okay, and you can fill in all this stuff like the street, address, boom, city. Typically it should let you drag and drop these. I don't know why it's not, but it should be able to do that. Okay, zip code. It doesn't look like we have a zip on here. I'll make sure we get a zip code on here. And you click continue. Now the next thing you'll see is your images. If you're done with your images, you click you're done. And there you go. You've got a gorgeous Craigslist flyer filled with your amenities. It looks beautiful. You've got your, you've got your virtual tour on here. Pretty slick. So I hope that helps everybody. I know we've had a lot of questions on how to use the Craigslist widget. And I'm sure that I'll be talking about this on more of uh, our formula shows that are coming up this year. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.